The Charleston County Jail is looking to fill nearly 100 vacancies and is offering on site hiring events and jail tours to drum up interest. Our Melissa Rademacher went inside the facility to see how it works and where roles that need filling. Because we're behind four walls, um, most people have no idea what it takes to run this operation or what it's even like. I took a walk with Captain Ezard Luke behind those four walls from processing to housing to security. He shared how understaffing means deputies are overworked, often taking on extra 12 hour shifts. It spans every department. Five desks sit in the processing bay, but not all are filled. And the same goes for fingerprinting and ID across the hall. This area here uh, for the for the shift that's on requires two deputies. Uh, we only have one, so that deputy is both the processing deputy and ID. If we were 100% staff, then basically all those desks would be filled and these areas would be filled over here as well. He says there are nearly 100 openings at the jail right now across the board. Luke says the jail meets the state required ratio of one deputy to 64 inmates at a time. But they'd like more staff to make turnaround easier and even reduce the ratio. 16 pods, four residents to each pod. Luke points out the features of an empty housing tower, empty because of understaffing. He says, of course, the jail would like to have fewer inmates to each deputy, but right now their staff means they are sitting at the state requirement of 1 to 64 while filling open units. And what we know from the literature and law enforcement, which also can be applied to the correctional organization is that each department is its own ecosystem. So there's going to be strengths, there's going to be weaknesses. There are opportunities for management to review different types of capacity and resource allocation. Right now, the sheriff's office is planning for a hiring event on July 19th, detailing the nearly 100 openings and taking applications on site. But the bottom line is this, you know, there's a job that needs to be done and someone has to do it. And uh, we're here to serve the citizens of, of Charleston County. Reporting in Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.